The intent of this section was to use the creating the future model, the understanding model, and the predicament model to develop a context that provides a, a, a hopefully an understanding as to what it is that we're dealing with in terms of when we set out to to deal with situations that, that we want to be different than the way that we are. The, these three models hopefully give you a sense of, of what we're up against. And, and then to provide a sense of here is an array of, of models that one can create to promote understanding in a, in a web context, which makes it very easy to develop and share models and their emerging insights with other people and to do this in a in a collaborative map mode so that it overcomes some of the the predicament difficulties that were demonstrated so that that one person can develop a model and share it with others for feedback or several people can collaboratively develop the same model so that it evolves in a, in a collective manner over time. And then to provide sort of a sense of what the insight maker environment looks like from the outside when you first go there so that it's, it's not so foreign when you do. And then once you create a free account and log in, what the inside of it looks like in terms of the menus that are available and the options that one uses to actually create the various types of models. Now in the in the next section I will go through the creation of a number of different types of qualitative models and specifically the types of tools that one uses to do that. And follow and the sections after that we'll talk about simulation models and then we'll talk about all the rest of the tools uh, on the edit menus that, that make Insight Maker such a a versatile environment for developing models to promote understanding. So I'll see you in the next video in the next section. Bye.